you can do a small experiment yourself take a jar fill it with copper sulfate solution you can take a little of copper sulfate powder dissolve it in water the solution will be blue in color then fill it with in the jar and you can also add a little of sulfuric acid so it becomes acidified copper sulfate dip two copper electrodes in it and pass the current for about 15 minutes now what will you find you after you have passed the current you take out the two electro electrodes what you will find in one of the electrode there is more deposit of copper now where has this come from there is a brown coating now this has come because copper sulfate broke up into copper and sulfate ions and the copper ions got deposited on the electrode even if you have one of the electrodes that of carbon even then this experiment will be successful and you know what copper is purified by this method only pure copper is made anode and the impure copper that has been extracted from its ores is made cathode so when the electric current is passed through copper sulfate then the copper ions move from the cathode to the anode because copper ions are positive and anode is negative and as a result we get the strip which was thin that becomes a thick strip of copper so this method can be used for so many purposes for purification of metals for electroplating and so on so all these are the effects of electric current so let's recap one was electric current produces heat and light it produces magnetic effect and it also produces chemical reactions like hydrolysis and also electroplating now this chapter is nothing but full of activities and very simple activities you can do them yourself also you can do one thing more you can also use a potato to see whether a chemical reaction takes place or not when you complete the circuit with potato on one end you will find bluish green spot why this happens this is because when electric current passes through potato there is a chemical reaction and as a result there is this change of color so whenever there is chemical reaction there can be change of color there can be evolution of gas there can be formation of new compounds and so on so how did you find this chapter the effects of electric current i'm sure you enjoyed it just as i did